<laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to like de shine my head. Like seriously, the light is. I've got like a light right above my head, and it's making my head look shiny. So I'm trying to de shine it. Oh god, the joys of being bold. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back for another video, and welcome to Radio and Gasha. Now this feels a bit funny because I've not made a video in quite a long time. Now I've uploaded stuff, but it's all been pre-recorded. So this is the first time I've filmed in a long time. Okay, so today I'm here for a bit more of a serious video. Um, I've never really talked about trans issues on my channel, and today I'm going to be talking talking about it because something happened quite recently at work and actually saying that a few things have happened not just one it really got me thinking about who I work with and how how Although I don't know if it's necessarily transphobia, I think it's more of just incredible ignorance towards this issue. Quite recently, I was at work, and the people who don't know, I work on it, like, I work in a shop and I'm behind a checkout and I do scan items. Beep, 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 money please, bitch. Like I always do. Okay, and then this person came into the shop, and I didn't, obviously, I didn't see him walk into the shop at all. And then literally within 10 minutes of this person walking in, I, and I didn't notice him walk in, but one of my staff members came up to me and was like, have you seen it? And I was like, what? What do you mean I've seen it? And then she just walked up and was like, you'll know when you see. And so then I was waiting for a little while and then I saw this guy walk past and he was literally just wearing high heels. Like it was just a man wearing high heel shoes. And I was thinking to myself, yes, God, work it. Like he was a fierce bitch. Like he was a fierce bitch. And then I could hear customers talking about this guy, like saying like how like weird it was and what the hell was he doing and why is he not being a man? What upset me about this as well is it was customers who I've known for a long time because I've worked in the same shop for a very long time now. And so I see these people all the time. It made me so sad to see that this was literally the most exciting thing that has ever happened. There was a guy wearing high heels. And why this person came up to me and thought, because, you know, I'm all for equality, I'm all for like equal rights for gender, for like expression, for sexuality, for everything. And they thought it was a good idea to come and be like, have you seen that? Like... What? Like, I wasn't gonna suddenly throw out all of my beliefs just because there's this one guy in fucking high heels. Like, what? What? And talking about some other incidents that have happened is when Conchita Verst won Eurovision Song Contest, which is the bearded drag queen, if you don't, I mean, if you haven't seen Conchita, then you, you're literally missing out. So Conchita is literally just a drag queen, but just happens to have like the beard while she's in drag. And when she won, I remember there was people calling her a tranny at work and people were just going like, I don't know why it needs to be looking like that. Why couldn't you got rid of the beard and everything? And it was just like, why does it fucking matter? And the final incident, what happened, um, happened a few days ago. And this trans woman came in, like male to female. And I mean this in the least offensive way possible. And I, I really don't, I'm not saying this to be a bitch, but you could tell. And it really upset me to see the reactions of people because people were laughing, like just saying, is that a man in a wig and stuff. And it's just like, it was just so, I felt so terrible for this poor girl. I have so much respect, so much respect for anyone who can, you know, go out of the norm and stand out like that just to be themselves. One thing that really annoys me is when people talk about a subject that they have no idea about. When they don't understand trans people, they don't understand what it's like to like feel in the wrong body. They don't understand and why someone would want to transition into the other gender. And also why people like androgynous people, they want to be whatever gender they feel like for that day, or they want to be, they don't even want to be associated with the gender, they're just, they're just a human. I consider myself a man, I express myself in very feminine ways, but I am a man, and that is how I identify. But these poor people who are trapped in the wrong bodies and want to be the other sex, and not only do they have to go, you know, battle with themselves thinking are they gay, or do they actually want to be the other gender, or like, do you know, those kind of things. They have to deal with society and all these like bastards who judge them so ignorantly and so ridiculously over the fact that they might not be as passable as others. This video is getting a little bit AWOL, but one of the points that I want to say is fuck society's gender boundaries and what people think men and women should be. You know, you could be the most manliest person ever, but if you identify as a woman, you are a woman. And don't let any motherfucking bitch out there tell you that you are not yourself. And again, if you're a female and you want to be male, but you're like really girly, but you identify as a man, you know, be you. And don't let any bitch out there tell you you can't be the gender that you want to be. And again, if you don't want to be any gender, you're just like, you're gender fluid. You consider yourself a mix of everything. Fuck what people think. You know, don't let other people's ignorance and intolerance make you feel like you can't be you. Because trust me, 
The moment you stop giving a shit what people think about you is the moment you can start living and really be who you are. Instead of saying, is that a boy or a girl, I wish one day they can just look at you and be like, hi, how are you? Not, hi, are you a boy? Hi, are you a girl? Like, I just don't understand how people can't grasp the concept that gender expression and gender identity are completely different things. Completely different things. I feel like this video is a complete mess. I'm, I should have structured it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go now. Um, please hit that like button because it does really help me out and share with all your friends and all that good kind of stuff. I adore you guys. And please come and follow me on all my social medias. My Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all that stuff is in the description. I update them all the time. It's really good if you come and follow me. And just leave me some comments. Be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch out there tell you can't be you because you are fabulous, bitch. Um, gotcha. I turn to you like a flower leaning toward the sun. I turn to you because you're the only.